Hello, internet friends and Shady Grove family. My name is Jamie Bittner, and I'm here to bring you today's daily. When Pastor Beanie called and asked me to do a daily with our theme, Healthy and Hopeful in 2021, I knew I wanted to talk about walking. Walking has been a huge um, component of my wellness journey over the past two and a half years. And I wanted to share some things with you that I thought you might incorporate in your 2021. I have a friend named uh, Sohaila Digsby from Augusta, Georgia, who is a registered dietitian and a health practitioner um, who runs a Best Body in 52 countdown and has written a couple of books. I'm a member of her Facebook community. And one of her favorite hashtags to use is walking out wellness. And as a Christian, I think Sohaila was very intentional in her words. She didn't say walking out fitness. She said walking out wellness. And she has shown walking to be a multifaceted approach to our wellness journey. We all know, obviously, that walking is good for our physical fitness. It can improve our cardiovascular health. It can lower our cholesterol. It can help us fight off illness and reduce our chance of chronic diseases. If we walk at a good pace and up hills, it can help us to lose weight and tone up our legs and our glutes and all of these positive health benefits, right? But do you know about all the emotional and mental ben benefits that walking can have? I'm out here right now. Yes, it's cold <laughs> and I'm dressed appropriately. Um, Look at these gorgeous trees and the blue sky behind me. I can hear birds chirping. I can hear the squirrels chattering. It's calm, it's peaceful. The air is fresh and crisp. I am away from my television and the news. I'm away from social media. I'm away from the noise of life and I'm just out here moving and breathing and seeing. Friends, this can reduce anxiety. This can reduce depression. This has profound impacts on our mood and our mental state. The third probably one of my favorite things about walking. I bet you didn't know this. Stanford University put out a study in 2018 stating that taking a 30-minute walk can improve your creative output by 60%. That's a lot. Did you ever notice if you had a problem and you took a walk, you came back and maybe had a solution or were on your way to a solution? If you have writer's block, taking a walk can help get you back on track. I've come up with some of my best ideas during a walk or after a walk, and I've found myself when faced with a problem saying, I'll get back to you, I need to take a walk. Try it. Chris talked in her sermon today about, as humans, being creative beings because God created us, right? God is the creator and he created us to create. So, Find some of that creative energy by taking a walk. You'll be surprised at what can happen. The last thing um, is how we can incorporate walking into our spiritual wellness. I'm kind of a Bible nerd, and so I went into my Bible before I took this walk to see how many times the word walk was used in Scripture. So I went into my concordance. I have the NIV version of a study Bible, and the word walk was used 41 times. Some examples in Isaiah 40, 31, we're told to walk and not grow weary. In Matthew, we see Jesus walking on water. In Deuteronomy 6, 7, and again in Deuteronomy 10, 11, we're commanded to talk about um, God's commandments as we walk with our children, teaching them in the way they should go. In Psalm 23, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. In Micah 6, 8, walk humbly with God. And in John, several times we're told to walk in the light. So 
What do all these verses have in common? Well, number one, walking is a journey that we take. It is a physical action that continues, right? We don't walk and stop. We continue to walk. It's not, those aren't past tenses. We didn't walk. It, it's not referring to walked. It's walk or walking. Something that we continue to do. And we do this with God. God is with us in all of these verses. And he is with us as we walk today. In this creation, where we walk, we see God. He created the heavens and earth the earth and the sky, the birds, all of the animals, they are surrounding me right now. I can see God's hand as I walk. He is here with us. We just have to be aware of it, right? Just take that quiet minute to look around us in awesome wonder and know that God is here with us. We are not alone in our journey. God did not intend for us to do battle on our own. We are here with him and with each other. So I hope that you can walk out wellness in 2021, knowing that you are not alone. And I will leave you with this blessing from Romans 15, 14. May the God of hope fill you with all the joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. I love you all. Happy 2021.